And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. And good Sunday afternoon, everyone. It has been warm, dry, and windy. Basically, a tinderbox across the valley, and because of that, the high fire danger has been the case. And so the red flag warning continues for the entire valley, shown in the red until 6 o'clock this evening. So a little about 20 more minutes or so. Wind advisory also in effect until 6 o'clock this evening. Let me show you the radar. Obviously, rain-free, but up in Brooks County, we've been talking about that fire. And because of the dry conditions, you can see that fire, the smoke actually, on the radar. This that plume of smoke shown in the green because of winds coming from the northwest. It has been blowing that plume of smoke toward the southeast into uh, Kennedy County. There's a plume of smoke on the radar. Look at the winds right now, mostly from the northwest, anywhere from 16 to 23 miles an hour with gusts up to 32, 37 miles an hour. Wind gusts of 37 Port Isabel, 32 in Brownsville. Yesterday we were forecasting uh, 25 to 35 mile per hour winds from the northwest with gusts to 45. And that has panned out indeed for today. Those winds at five Finally start to come down for this evening, but look at the humidity single digits right now. 9% humidity, very, very dry. We've got winds out of the northwest at 16 miles an hour. We're in the upper 70s in Harlingen and Brownsville, mid 70s in Westlaco and lower 80s in McAllen. Here's your evening planner forecast. The temperatures will tumble under clear skies for tonight. The winds will finally start to come down. Still a tad breezy at 7 o'clock this evening with temperatures in the lower 70s. Less breezy at 9 o'clock this evening, 63 degrees and clear skies. Really cools off at 11 o'clock tonight with temperatures in the mid 50s. By the way, we're talking about lows tonight in the mid 40s, so the kids will want to dress warmly before school tomorrow, but no coats needed for tomorrow afternoon. So it's been very windy for today. We've got those winds coming from the northwest. We're on the back side of the front, which is now over the Florida Panhandle. Very nasty day for our friends in the southeast. Severe weather causing big problems for the southeastern U.S. with the storm system. For us, things will stay dry. We could use some rain, but it's going to be dry for at least the next four days. It'll be mild for tomorrow. Warm Warmer on Tuesday, and then another front comes in by early Wednesday morning. So breezy for you Tuesday with highs back in the upper 80s. And then for Wednesday, behind the front, things will finally start to cool off. So for Thursday, Friday into Saturday and Sunday, we'll finally see some cooler weather. We may have a chance of some showers finally by Friday into next weekend. We could be looking at highs, by the way, in the 60s for next Saturday and Sunday. Now the gale warning continues offshore until 6 o'clock this evening. Afterwards, small craft advisory 6 o'clock this evening until until midnight tonight, we'll have winds out in the northwest and north at 24 to 29 knots this evening. That is, bay waters are rough. Chop seas are 5 to 10 feet. Your next tide is a low tide at 5:49 tomorrow morning. So for tonight, clear skies and chilly with temperatures tumbling into the mid 40s by early tomorrow morning. The winds finally come down to about 5 to 15 miles an hour out in the northwest. Then for tomorrow, after a chilly start in the morning, you won't need the coats by the afternoon. The kids will want the coats for the morning, but not for the afternoon hours with a high temperature of. 78 degrees. The winds finally shift to the southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. So a little bit more humidity for tomorrow afternoon as well as for Tuesday. Here's that seven day forecast. Yes, it is going to be very warm on Tuesday with highs in the upper 80s. We're down to 62 Tuesday night. The front comes in by Wednesday morning. We're up to 77 on Wednesday with partly cloudy skies and then a little bit cooler for Thursday up to 73 with a morning low of 50 and mostly sunny skies. 49 degrees the morning low on Friday. So we're looking at a couple of chill Earlier morning lows for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Highs are around 70 on Friday. We'll throw in a 20% chance of some showers on Friday, followed by a 30% chance of some showers for Saturday and Sunday. We think there will be more clouds and sun, the case for next Saturday and for Sunday.